After the second floor, the stairwell becomes private. You've got one flight leading to the unit itself and an additional going to the rooftop. The doors are glass, so it lets in some of the stairwell lighting. Upon entry, the living entertaining space is to the right and the bedrooms are to the left. Walking to the edge of the home, this is the western, northern, southern exposure side, an open kitchen dining living layout. I would have configured the furniture a little bit differently here, but you can see that it is decent in size. The first of the private outdoor spaces is here. This is overlooking 13th Street, mature trees, quiet street. The kitchen is nicely appointed, soft closed cabinetry, quality appliances, thick quartz countertop, Viking, exterior venting exhaust. It's a pretty kitchen. While this table seat six, I can see if you removed the buffet over there, it could be switched with an eight top. Off of this area is two separate storage spaces, as well as a laundry, it's not a room, a laundry area as well as the powder room. It's smaller, but it's a powder room. You don't need to hang out in there very long. Each of the storage spaces is about this big, and you can see that they're not outfitted in a configuration right now to give you a little bit more flexibility with the space. Remember, we're going back towards the front door now, and then the third smallest bedroom, which is configured here as an office for scale. It would fit a queen size bed per my measurements. It just wouldn't be as spacious as the other bedrooms. It has the closet and it has an ensuite full bath. The aesthetics of this bath don't match the others in the home. It's a little bit of an outlier for whatever reason. Beyond that are two master suites. Uh, this is the larger of the two bedrooms, I believe, and it has two closets. Here it's uh, fitted with a king-size bed to give you a sense of scale. And even with the king-size bed, it's got room for additional furniture. Each of the master suites has access to the second larger outdoor space on this level. It overlooks the gated parking. It has an ensuite bath. Here are the closets. The smaller one is here, as well as a walk-in, which is bigger than the phone's making it look. That dark thing is a screen for the door, which I think they removed from marketing. Double vanity sink with some storage, very spacious shower, sort of a masculine bathroom. This is the other master suite. This one has three closets, two of which are walk-in. Here, a tiny one here. And then there's another walk-in by the bathroom. This shares two exposures. Well, it shares a door to that private outdoor space and has two exposures. This is north and east. Second walk-in closet, again with the screen for the sliding door. You can see it's a good size bedroom though. And another spacious bathroom. Tastefully appointed. I'm a fan. Leaving this bedroom, we would go back towards the front door. And I'll show you the stairwell, which here, you can see the front door then goes up to the roof. As a table here, I don't see any uh, outlet, which is a little bit annoying, but there is an outlet outside, as well as a gas line and a water line. This is a really spacious roof deck. I see
see a lot of opportunity up here. And it's one of the higher points in the area, so not many people would be able to see up. It offers a sense of privacy. And in that sense, opportunity. Let's go to the first floor. You can see the unit is that third floor up there. Uh, you've got parking, landscaping. This is going towards uh, 13th Street. The entrance you use to get to the condo is on the left here. There's a stained glass window and the shared stairwell. There's a fountain on the right, and then you look forward to an entrance. 